Hello everyone, we will solve this today's lead code problem. This is water bottle. Uh, this is a lead code easy one. So let's see what the question is. There are num bottles, water bottles that are initially full of water. You can exchange num exchange empty water bottles from the market with one full water bottle. The operation of drinking a full water bottle turns into an empty bottle. Given the two integers nums bottles and num exchange return the maximum number of water you can drink, right? So basically the question is just to calculate the maximum number of water bottles we can drink, right? This we need to find the maximum number of water bottles. The operation which is given that we can we can exchange we can exchange the num exchange uh, this num value num exchange water and uh, num exchange empty water bottles with with one full water bottle right which we can drink right which we can drink right so basically we need to just find the maximum number of water bottles so for that this is just a basic math approach uh, if you have solved the uh, yesterday's problem this is something like that so if we take if we take simply uh, suppose any example like let's take a 10 right and uh, so i'm representing n as a number of bottles so i'm just uh, let me write this that i'm representing n as a num bottles and k as a or uh, yeah k as a num exchange right i'm representing this so basically when n is a num bot and n is 10 and k is taken as uh, let's suppose four then how many waters we can think of right how many bottles we can drink so basically the num exchange is four it means what does it mean this uh, k representing that we can exchange four empty bottles with one full of water right we can exchange four empty water with one full of water so basically how many how many empty bot uh, how many water, uh, water bottles do we have this 10 and how many we can drink we can definitely drink this 10 water bottle for sure right but how many uh, maximum number of water bottles we can drink of so see basically when we take in this 10 so after after drinking one two three and four so when i drink four water bottles i can get a one full of water bottle right right so the answer answer is the number the count of four bottle bottles for sure but uh, for this four we get one extra bottle bottle right we get one extra what bo full water bottle right so four is extra counted right but this one is extra again right same for again uh, when we count five six seven and eight you will get another water bottle right two water bottles right and we can we can see that we can see that that this total eight water bottles four plus four water bottle is for sure we get and in place of this four water bottles i get one full water bottle right i get one full water bottle so if you see that this four this four has come this four how many how many how many bottles we can exchange how many times how many times how many times how many times we can exchange we can exchange empty water bottles empty water bottles with one full of water water full water water which will be definitely n by k n by k that was the, that way how many times we can say this will be n by n by k and this is also this is also representing the number of full water bottles we can get right full water bottle we can get right so basically this how many times we can exchange it is equals to how many numbers of full water bottle we can get after exchanging this so basically we can get to full water full of water bottle and we can use this extra water bottle after exchanging in my uh, again for the same process right so basically when we take in this eight water bottles and get two extra full water bottle see this two extra full water bottle can be added to this and also right so basically this eight water bottle is used so basically we have left only with two water bottle after this 10 uh, after this eight right so basically this is used with this a only right now we have left with this two extra water bottle it means n is now have two plus two which is equals to four water bottle 
right now see this we have four water bottles again we can drink the, we can drink this water bottle we can use this water bottle so when i use this water bottle again which is again start from one two three four so we have again four water bottles right we can we have again four water bottles which is again have which uh, which we have drink so we can include in our answer with these four water bottles i can also with these four water bottles i can also take one full of water bottle right right so it means this water bottle is included and this one full of water bottle now this one full of water bottle is extra so last we have added this so basically how many water bottles we have 4 3 12 plus 1 13 right so you can see uh, you can see manually also that this we have 10 for for each of four for each of four uh, water bottles we have one full of water bottle so we can exchange with two water water bottles and we have again left with two water bottles so basically we, uh, which is combined with four water bottles right so this total is eight, 13 water bottles we have right so answer will be 14 uh, 13 so basically what we are seeing here that we will simply calculate calculate the number of water bottles the number of water bottles we can exchange and the answer we answer we get uh, after this exchange we again include in our we again we will again include include the exchanged the uh, the extra water water the extra full of water water the full water bottle for again uh, for, uh, again full of water water to do this to these operations again right so basically what we are doing we are just doing this n minus k this n minus k and divide add modulus k that how many time how many water bottles we can get if it uh, if it is divisible it means i can get i can definitely get a one extra full of water bottle and we can simply drink it right we can simply drink it and that will in, that can also be included in my answer right basically this is what we can do so if you see so basically what we are doing here that we will just simply take any uh, any random uh, water bottles let's take it as a a and the exchange value take b so till 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 we the, till this exchange value the, till this uh, this number of bottles the number of full water bottles is greater than this k it means we can definitely exchange we will definitely get an extra water bottle so till uh, till where we can uh, do this operation that till the number of full water bottles is greater than this exchange water bottle then we can we can say we can definitely definitely get an extra full uh, an extra water bottle an extra full water bottle right? by exchanging that so we can simply we can simply do what we do we will divide each and every time and if we have left with a bottle then we will add in my this n value and we will do this again and again right so basically the the question is just of maths value that uh, you can just observe it and if you have done the previous question uh, you will definitely done that right so we will sim simply see sim implementation because i think this is much enough explanation for you to understand that how we will do this let's see the implementation part so this nums water and nums exchange i will just replace this with n and k right where n is num bottles full of water bottles and this is num exchange right so let's take an answer which will count the number of water bottles at the end right and we will just iterate in this n till greater than k why greater than k because if number of full water bottles is not greater than k it means we don't get any extra water bottle right after uh, drinking at all so we don't need to uh, check that whether it is divisible or not right so it will definitely not get any extra water bottle so uh, there is no need to check uh, for n less than k right so basically what we do we will check for that at how many water extra water bottle we will get so that will we get by dividing this by the num exchange right and also what we will uh, get that how many uh, how many number how many water bottles we have drink so that needs to be deleted from this and 
right so that how many times this we deleted that would be definitely d into k right right because see if there is a 10 and this is 4 so 4 divided by 10 is 2 but we haven't used all the uh, 10 bottles we have used only 8 bottles right so that would taken as d modulus k right so we have d modulus k but 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 this d d number of times of water water bottles we got extra by exchanging this right so that needs to be added must add, that needs to be added with d also right also the number of water bottles we have drink should be stored so how many times how many numbers of water bottles we have drink we have drink d into k number of water bottles right we have drink d into k number of water bottles right and this n minus d into k that we have used this number of water bottles so we need to delete it from there and this d is extra water bottle so i have added it right this is extra water full water bottle right full water bottle and this is used uh, exclude used water bottle right and this is the total water bottle we have so what we will be the answer when this is uh, when this is not satisfied it means n would be less than k it means this n water bottle we have left at 10 that would be definitely used so that so answer, that needs to be also included so answer would be an answer plus n right this needs the answer so if you see in 10 and k4 so basically what we are doing so this let's uh, write down on this right so basically when n is 10 and this is 4 so how many times this water bottle is will be occur d is equal to 2 10 by 4 is 2 so this needs to be included so answer plus 4 into 2 which is 8 so answer would be 8 now n minus d into k which is 10 minus 10 8 which is 2 now this d also have in two values so n plus 2 so basically 2 plus 2 which is 4 right and it basically has four values and k is also 4 it means it is it still satisfy the condition now d is equal to n by k so that would give us 1 4 by 4 is 1 now this answer 4 by 4 is 1 it means 4 into 1 which is 4 it means 4 water waters is included and we also uh, did exclude the used water waters which is again 4 so n becomes 0 and now d has 1 because we got extra full of water 1 so n plus 1 is 1 which is n is equals to 1 so 1 is less greater than equals to 4 no it is not satisfied so we have extra 1 and this is 4 uh, this is what this will be 12 plus 1 which is 13 right so you can simply write on pen and paper if you don't understand it so basically this is a simple question and let's just uh, uh, run this on the test so we have passed let's submit it you have successfully passed right so what will the time and the space complexity so time uh, time in the space complexity would be time would be o of o of so basically what we are doing so we are just dividing at each and every step this uh, this uh, n by k, uh, with k value right and using that div uh, divisor value in my n values we are dividing uh, this n by k each and every time right so that would be log of n log of n with base k right with base k log of n with base k uh, how would i write with base k <laughs> let's just write as a ba with base k you will uh, uh, with base k right because we are dividing it by k again and again again and again so that would be log of n with base k right so and the word the space complexity would be that would be of one because we haven't taken any extra spaces so that would be the time in the space complexity for this problem there is another problem uh, i think uh, that's the same water bottles which uh, i will give the link which is that it was a medium problem i have solved it in some contest or i don't know that uh, you must solve that also after this i will uh, provide the link uh, in the description so thank you so much bye bye